In this video, I would like to show you the template system that I created for Play Canvas. With that template system, you can simply render uh, variables dynamically in your text elements. You can update image elements easily. So let's get started. Let's uh, create a 2D Synchron element. Then uh, you can create a text element. I'm going to give you a simple example in this video. Right, so um, I'm going to, I would like to sh render my username on this uh, secret. So you can um, render variables like this, right? You also have to give a dynamic tag to your element so it can detect which element you're going to render and give a name to your secret element. In this example, I'm going to give it an overlay name. Then uh, attach template script to it so it can detect all uh, events you're going to trigger on your project. So uh, when you run the project it will it looks like this but if you trigger that comment it will dynamically render the variable into the text. So template and your entity's name then give your variables like this. So when I execute that comment, it will render like this. Um, you can simply render a variable like this. You can also update that um, text later if you like to. For example, I can update it like this. It will use the source uh, variable template you gave to the element. You can also um, Render multiple uh, elements in your uh, in your template system. For example, I I want to create a profile page, right? I can simply define my variables like this. I can also use some um, custom symbols in it too, right? So let's say I'm going to make it like this right so let's go to the project refresh it and give my I'm going to give my variables to this template for example I will I have five kills and ten deaths right so when I render it it looks like this you can also um, render image elements dynamically too, right? So I created an image element. I'm going to give a dynamic name to it. For image elements, you have to uh, give a name to it, right? So let's say this is going to be profile image. I'm going to give render this image in this case. So what I have to do is simply profile so it uses the image name and it just search this image in your assets library and render it like this so this is the first part of the template system you can also hide or show image um, with the variable you gave to the template for example, I would like to hide this image if a certain variable is not is a true or false, right? So let's say we want to hide this image if a variable is true, sorry, false. So in this example, I'm going to give this image visibility script and let's say, let's call this uh, variable visible right so this script this image will show up only if visible variable is true so let's test it visible is true right it shows the image but if i make this variable false it will hide the image this um this system can be uh useful in in some cases obviously I would like to hide image if kill is more than 10 number.
right, is greater than 10 number, 10. So um, I have this data and I will, I have five kills. So let me change that query. So as you can see, image doesn't show up because I have five kills. But if I have 11 kills, then it shows up. So this system can be useful if you like to if you like to show or hide some parts of your um, template. Now I would like to show you um, another component for this template system. It's called Fetcher. With that system, with that script, you can easily um, fetch a data from API and use it on your template system. So let me delete those elements. And here's my API, right? So in this API, I have a result and I have a username for uh, my game right it fetched the data from Twitch and I would like to show it with my template system so I I'm going to write it like this streamer Twitch username right Twitch username and to my overlay I'm going to add another script called fetcher I have to give a URL to this system so it can fetch data from the API. And I also need to define a success function so it can trigger it, so it can trigger the template and render the data into the system. So in this example, as we used the um, as we used in the our examples, right? I would like this template overlay I'm going to trigger template overlay on API call success so that's it let's refresh the page right it didn't uh, change the value but it fetched the data right so we it didn't uh, render the variable because we didn't give the dynamic tag to it so let's refresh the page again. As you can see, it fetched the API and used that variable and rendered it, rendered it dynamically and it uses the data from the service, right? So it's that easy. You can actually design your game's profile page, leaderboards with that way easily.